see that? That bird's like, hey, that was mine, you hog! seeing the camera shipment basically moving that was pretty fast they didn't even list like Vancouver in the first one it was like straight to the airport and then all of a sudden when I checked it it's all the way in what Philadelphia it's kind of interesting reading this too it says activity at one point in Louisville Kentucky it says a required security check has delayed delivery although I guess it passed if anything I thought there would be more issues of it going across the border at first like from say Canada to the US or something like that Weather's on and off. It's actually sunny over there, but it's cloudy here. So I was only able to fly quickly, maybe a little later, depending on the weather. I guess the first thing I read related to drones, it says apparently there was a US military drone that went missing. I was like, how does that go missing? It says an unarmed US Africa Command remotely piloted aircraft was lost over Tripoli, Libya, November 21st. RPA operations are conducted in Libya to assess the ongoing security situation and monitor violent extremist activity basically just capturing footage and stuff and it says these operations are critical to counter terror activity in Libya and are fully coordinated with the appropriate government officials the incident is currently under investigation and the thing is they don't actually say what happened to it specifically like was it shot down for example or was it just like that missing missing like just off the radar who knows what happened to it so it's kind of interesting Kind of makes you think how many of these, I guess, large military drones are out there all the time, just across like whatever, like the ocean even around here that you're just not aware of it, so to speak. I even asked a person who did stuff like that, like just say like military and all that, like I'm wondering like, is it really like busy all the time? Cause like to me as a regular individual, you would assume, you know, if there's like a war or something like that, then everyone's all hands on deck, but apparently they're, I guess, fighting a quote war, like 24 seven, I guess you could say, just monitoring each other and all that. And the most interesting thing I read today dealt with a passenger plane where apparently the wing caught on fire during takeoff and basically a person captured a video of it. And apparently the way the story goes is the person tried to capture video, I guess a reaction of his daughter during takeoff. And when he put his camera outside the window, you can see, whoa, there's fire coming out of the wing. So as it says here, plane makes emergency landing after engine flames. A Philippine Airlines flight headed for Manila from Los Angeles International Airport reported a possible engine failure shortly after takeoff. So you can basically see, I guess, the reactions and stuff too, based on this news report. Mayday, 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 Philippine 113. We have an engine surge on the right engine requesting a visit land. That must be a scary experience. Although one thing I was thinking of, the engine basically, if it caught on fire, the wings and all that, it was basically still flying and they landed it no problem. I mean, funny enough, it kind of makes me think, because a lot of people often say, for example, like it only takes like one consumer level drone to basically take down like a whole airplane with one hit. And it makes me wonder here, this thing's on fire and so forth and they still were able to land it, like I guess safely, as you could say. Not to say it's a good idea to fly like in an airport zone, so to speak, but is basically I guess the danger of a consumer level drone or I'm just exaggerating okay Mavic Mini basically taking down an airplane is it basically too over the top in that case I'm all for safety and people not doing stupid things but it just makes you wonder again in terms of whether or not things like the danger of stuff like that is over exaggerated at the same time it makes me think again of that topic how like in this case it's a passenger airplane if someone's flying a quote passenger drone or some of that, then those should be heavily monitored and restricted and all that. Not necessarily someone just flying it, I'm just exaggerating, like 50 meters in the air just to take like a photo or a video or something like that. Or would people then say like with the example yesterday of the story, if that guy's drones flying away for example and landing in the airport because of that, nope, you just can't take the risk at all and everyone should be punished in that sense.
sounds like an irritating sound when you can't open it. Funny. It's like he gave up, like, I'm burying this thing. Give me another one that's open. See you guys later.